Everybody, this is Nick from Part Time Pilot coming at you again with another video for our cross country playlist. This time we're going to be finding magnetic heading. There's only a couple more steps we have to do to have our complete cross country plan done. And for this one, it's going to be probably a pretty quick video on magnetic heading. So at this point, we already have our magnetic course for each checkpoint. Okay, we got we have found our true course, then we corrected for magnetic variation with our isogonic lines to get our magnetic courses. Now we got to remember we want a magnetic heading to fly off of. Okay, so when we write down our magnetic heading, that's what when we're in the plane, we're going to hunt on our heading indicator for that magnetic heading. So this is what we actually use when we fly. And to do that, to correct, to convert from a course to a heading, we have to correct for wind. Luckily, we just did this in our last video. We found the wind correction angle and ground speed using the wind data in our E6B. Now, if you want to check out that video, just click on the little eye up here that pops up in the corner and it will show you, you can go straight to that video and show you how to find the wind correction angle. Now the wind correction angle, once we have it, we can use this equation to convert from course to heading. We just simply add, take the magnetic course plus the wind correction angle. Okay, But the only tricky part is the wind correction angle can be positive or negative. Now, it's positive if read from the right side of the E6B wheel and negative if read from the left side of the E6B wheel. That E6B wheel. That's all explained in the video on the wind correction angle and ground speed. All right? So, but just so just make sure you get your signs right. So, if your wind correction angle is -5 and your magnetic course is 60, this is going to be 60 plus a negative 5, okay? So, it's always going to be plus, but keep in that value for so this just turns into 60 minus 5 basically all right so if it's negative you'll end up subtracting if it's positive you'll end up adding all right so now let's get to an example so here this is kind of my online uh, excel sheet cross-country planner all right so we have our checkpoints over here all right we have our takeoff airport checkpoint one two three etc then we got our altitudes right here we have our distances total distances our winds and our temperatures we have our true course, our variation, our magnetic course. As you can see, we did 91 true course, subtracted 12 to get a 79 magnetic course. Now we have our wind correction angle, which we found from our E6Bs. They're all listed here. And now we just need to fill in right here for our magnetic heading. So to do that, it's simply you go from the magnetic course, this one right here, and you add the wind correction angle right here so this is going to be 85 this one's going to be 103 minus 8 so plus negative 8 so minus 8 so it's going to be 95 you got 80 plus negative 9 so 71 80 plus negative 71 71 73 and then 314 plus 5 is 319 okay so that's it for finding magnetic headings pretty simple just make sure you're using your signs correctly on your wind correction angle on your e6b and if you want to check out the next video of our cross-country planning playlist, just click on the video you see on your screen now on the left-hand side. And then if you want to check out the whole playlist, click on the cross-country planning button on the right-hand side of your screen. And then if you want to subscribe, click on my logo on the very top left of the screen. And thanks for supporting. Have a good day.